this is how you test LEDs. Um, you need a power supply, at least three watts, and you need something with probes on. So you either two batteries joined together in series to make three volts or a power supply similar to this. Then you get your strip and if you're in situ make sure that uh, the strip connector is on the left and then you can start off with the, the positive if you can go in there, positive onto the positive there and The negative on there and it should light up now if you can't get any if there's paint on there obviously use something like a scalpel and scrape it either side make a little mark so the copper showing and when you test it then onto the next one so you go positive negative again if it doesn't light up then obviously it's open circuit if it doesn't light up and the power supply goes down then it's short and that one is like okay and then positive and negative again there's the other one lighting up so that's okay positive negative not lighting up so that one's faulty okay no light at all and positive negative lighting and positive negative lighting positive negative no lighting yeah that's open as well so as you can see there's a few open there that one's lighting that one won't light because it's broken now the last one if you put the positive on there and the negative has got to go all the way on the other end of the connector there where the connector was there and then this side you have to connect it to that one and it should light up yeah and that's it that's how simple it is. If you want to test the whole strip, then obviously you need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, times 3, 33 volts at least. Put the positive and negative on where it says positive and negative on the connector. And if it all of them light up, then obviously it's fine. If one of them is open circuit, then you won't get any lights. Okay, over and out. Off.